Hello, everyone. I would like to share with you this beautiful devotion and its prayers, the Holy Flame of Love. This devotion was given to Elizabeth Kindleman by Our Lord and Our Lady. This is the diary of Elizabeth Kindleman, where she has all the messages that were revealed to her and why they were revealed to her, the importance and the urgency of this devotion. Now, the prayers that I'm going to be sharing with you this evening, you would be able to Go on the link that will be in the description of the video and click on it. It will actually send you to the official website of the Holy Flame of Love, where you can learn more about this devotion, how it came about, came about and why it came about. Now, I will like to say that this devotion is fully approved by our Holy Mother Church, as well as the prayers that are in the diary and that I will be sharing with you uh, as we do this rosary. So again, I'm going to share with you how I pray this rosary. This doesn't necessarily mean this is how you need to pray it. This is just how I pray it. Now, if you've never heard of the Holy Flame of Love, I highly encourage you to look it up and read about it, reflect about it, and see if maybe God calls you to go ahead and bring this into your home and into your hearts as a part of your daily spiritual life. Now, in the beginning of the rosary here at the crucifix, we're going to honor the five wounds of our Lord. And there's a prayer in order to do that. And it goes like this. We offer ourselves to the Heavenly Father through all the wounds of our Savior, Jesus Christ. We kiss the wound of his sacred left hand and you do the sign of the cross. We kiss the wound of his sacred right hand and you do the sign of the cross. We kiss the wound of his sacred left foot and you do the sign of the cross. We kiss the wound of his sacred right foot, and you do the sign of the cross. We kiss the wound of his sacred side, and you do the sign of the cross. I then proceed to do or to pray the Apostles' Creed. And then moving on to the next bead, I pray the Our Father in honor of all the intentions of our Holy Father. The three Hail Marys, the following three beads, I offer them in honor of hope, faith, and charity, and the holy flame of love. Now, the promise is, is that when you offer the three Hail Marys in honor of the holy flame of love, a soul is released from purgatory. So you can do this any time of the day. I like to include it in the rosary just because we do have the three beads for the Hail, Hail Mary. So the Hail Mary is prayed differently in the sense that Our Lady added a phrase or a, sin, a sentence to the second part of the Hail Mary. And it goes like this. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace of thy flame of love over all humanity now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When I finish the three Hail Marys, I go to the next bead and I pray the glory be to the Father. And then I move on to beginning the first mystery. Now today is Wednesday, so we would be praying the glorious mysteries. I begin with announcing the first mystery and then the Our Father, the ten Hail Marys, and at the end of the mystery, I end with the our, Fa our sorry, the glory be, the Fatima prayer, and the unity prayer. Now the unity prayer is prayed like this. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together, may our hands gather in unity, may our hearts beat in unison, may our souls be in harmony, may our thoughts be as one, may our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. When I finish that beautiful prayer, I proceed to announce the second mystery, begin with the Our Father, the Ten Hail Marys, and keep following the same pattern until you finish the rosary. At the end of the fifth mystery, I, of course, continue to do the Glory Be, the Fatima Prayer, and the Unity Prayer, and then I end with a Hail Holy Queen. Now I like to offer the Hail Holy Queen for the conversion of sinners. If you wish after the Hail Holy Queen, you are done with your rosary. 
I like to proceed with the litanies to Our Lady before I finish my daily rosaries. This is not something that you need to do. It's just something that I like to do. And if it's something you want to add, that's wonderful. So again, the prayer to the five wounds of Jesus and the Apostles' Creed. The Our Father for the intentions of our Holy Father. The three Hail Marys, making sure you're praying them exactly how Our Lady asked. The Hail Mary with the extra phrase at the second half. And you honor hope, faith, and charity and the holy flame of love. The glory be. And then announcing the first mystery, beginning with the Our Father, followed by the ten Hail Marys. And then at the end of each rosary, or I'm sorry, each mystery, you would end with the Our Father, the Fatima prayer, and the unity prayer. Finish by, at the very last bead, once it's all complete, the Hail Holy Queen. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, you're not mandated to pray it like this. If you find uh, another way of praying the Holy Flame, by all means, I, I know that it would be perfectly fine to do so. And I know that it would make Our Lady very happy to have more Catholics, uh, more of her children, praying this beautiful devotion. Thank you so much, everyone. And God bless all of you. And may Our Lady protect you.